Championship season is here for Denison Swimming and Diving. The Big Red just got out of the pool and they're gearing up to get ready for the championship meet here this weekend. We're lucky enough to be joined this afternoon by two senior captains, Michael DeSantis and Brenna Broadus. So thank you very much for joining us guys. And Michael, we'll start with you first. So you've been a part of three NCAC championship teams during your time in Granville. What are going to be some keys for your team to bring home that fourth this weekend? Well, I'd say, you know, not to follow circumstances. Trust the hard work that we've put in this year and um, believe in the program. If we can do that, we'll bring another one back to Granville. Certainly, there's a lot to look forward to. And now for you, Brenna, on your side, just give us a little bit more, some details on what you guys are doing to prepare both physically and mentally heading into the championship meet. Sure. Um, I think mentally we're in a very good place. Um, our coaches have done a wonderful job this season getting us to be in the right place, you know, getting us to be confident, know what our races are like, have a race plan. And physically, I mean, we've trained the entire year for this, the past five months, getting up at six every morning. Um, and we've already got 10 girls qualified for nationals. So we're just trying to get the last eight in there and have 18 go to the, to the national meet. That's great. You all are definitely moving in the right direction. And now, Michael, of course, you want to bring that championship trophy back home here to Granville, but what are some personal goals for you this weekend? What would you like to accomplish in Canton? Well, I'd say I want to slow my solidify myself on the national team. I'm, I'm really close there. And then I also want to be the leader that, you know, everyone wants me to be to the younger guys and because they're important to us. They're the ones that, you know, bring the depth to our roster. And, you know, if I can be the leader for them, then they will uh, achieve their goals. That's great. And you're a backstroke guy, Michael. And Denison has been referred to some uh, as backstroke university. So what does that uh, kind of is, you know, clarification mean to you? Backstroke you, what does that mean for you? Oh, that was actually a mantra that started last year. We had a really deep class of backstrokers, and we still do. Um, we finished a lot in the top eight and top 16 of nationals last year. Um, I'd say it's really important, and it's kind of an honor to be a part. And, you know, there's a lot of pressure to, to perform as backstroke you, but then again, um, it's something that just needs to be um, kept as a tradition for the future. Certainly. And then, Brenna, uh, yourself, you have a couple different things going in this one, but obviously you want to compound on those two championship performance uh, performances from last year. So what would you like to do personally maybe to uh, equal those and then maybe extend upon them? Um, you know, this is the last round. I think it's important to remember this is our senior year. So I just want to go out with a bang, you know, have fun, have the best races I've had, and, you know, hopefully get all those relays in and just have the best championship uh, conference we've ever had. That's great, and we want to thank both Michael and Bretta for joining us here on the Denison Sports Network. And of course, you want to follow them as well as the rest of the Big Red throughout the week just by visiting our website. It's www.denisonbigred.com. There you can find all the latest details as we head into championship weekend. So for everybody at the Denison Sports Network, I'm Christian Payne.